Welcome to Talking Giants Player Profiles and Projections. We got another two players to, today for you. Spencer Pulley and Leonard Williams. Two guys that everyone in the fan base just loves. I'm your host Bobby Skinner here with my co-host Justin Panic. Justin, we got Spencer Pulley. He's a six foot four, three 308 pound center. He's 27 years old. Was brought over by the Giants a couple of years ago as a free agent from the Chargers where he started 16 games. What do you got on the cap? Spencer Pulley, very well liked player on the team. Um, in high school, he was a team captain. He even got eleven quarterback sacks his senior year. Um, he also was a track star, and I'm trying to find what he did: shot put and discus throw. And then I always like to find what the players major in because I I like to think, hey, if I encounter this person on the street. What could I possibly talk to them about that maybe isn't related to football? And I guess for Spencer Pulley, what you're going to be asking him is, hey, tell us about um, human and organizational development. Because he went to Vanderbilt, and that's what he majored in. Sounds kind of nerdy. Um, but shot Sounds put, thrilling. it's like every office alignment ever did shot put in track and field. It's it true. Was like you did your conditioning practice, and then you went and just threw a, a rock as far as you could. I mean, I did shot put. Uh, I can't remember what my PR was. I know it wasn't good, but I, I did throw it. Um, so that that was fun. But it was more of just conditioning. All right, Spencer Pulley, Justin. Uh, in 2017 with the Chargers, he started 16 games. 2018, after, uh, after some injuries, he started nine games for the New York Giants. In 2019, he started one game. His contract, there's two years left on it. Both years, $2.75 million. Zero dead cap for both years. So they could cut him right now and save that 2.75 mil. Justin, I am down on Spencer Pulley. And I get you can go look at the 2018 and it's not a disaster. But you you saw 2019, the way defenses will play against Daniel Jones. He played one game against the Jets. And the Jets certainly don't have some ferocious defensive line. They had traded Leonard Williams by that point. Definitely didn't have some ferocious defensive line. And he was horrendous. He was accountable for three tackles for a loss. Two embarrassing ones, which were like four or five yard losses. Accountable for a sack. Accountable for a penalty at the end of the game when the Giants were trying to put together a drive to win the game. He was atrocious. He was bad. He didn't do anything that wild me. There wasn't a single play where I was like, ooh, really good job. There was plays where he didn't mess up. But there wasn't any single play where he did really good job. So I I'm, disagree. I, I am down on Spencer Pulley. Well, uh, go. what do you disagree with? You literally posted a clip tonight where somebody was head on with Spencer Pulley and he anchored down. He kept his legs under okay. him. But and it was the play that Daniel. Your, that, that's like that a, a really good play. No, like I said, there's good play. plays that are. You aren't said there bad. was no good plays. That was one good play. I, and you where, posted I, it. where I said that it was a really good play where I was like, wow, that's a really good play by Spencer Pulley. I was, obviously, he didn't screw up every block of the single game. That's not what I was saying, Justin. Anyways. Mentally, he's not horrible. He is decent at like picking up stunts and stuff. That's where Jalapio struggled. But he also just wasn't as good as Jalapio. And that's not saying much because Jalapio wasn't that good. And you know what? The coaching staff, they refused to give Spencer Pulley a chance. Every time they could, they gave Jalapio the shot. Um, and people were banging on the table. Spencer Pulley needs to start. Spencer Pulley needs to start. As soon as he came in, he played one game, sucked, and they moved on from him quick. They didn't give him a single chance. So I get, like, you know, we're not, like, in love with the past coaching staff, but they couldn't stand the guy. Like, they couldn't wait to get him out of the rotation. It wasn't like they gave him a shot, and it's like, okay, uh, now you get your shot. Like, with Julian Love, it's like, here's your shot. And then it got propelled when Peppers got hurt. With pu with Pulley, it was like, hey, like, don't even ever don't even ever think about touching the field after that performance. Because it was abysmal. It was Saquon's worst game of his career in the NFL. He had one rushing yard in that game. And a big part of that was Spencer Pulley. And you know what? There was mistakes in the run game where there was times where it could have been a huge run. And I, I can't really say this is on pulley, but basically we're saying the idea of centers calling out what to do where Caden Smith would block this one, uh, a linebacker Zeitler was pulling and supposed to hit that linebacker. Zeitler runs into nobody. And then a defensive end crashes down and has a tackle for a loss on Saquon Barkley. It was abysmal. And I get you can go back to 2018 where they didn't line up a nose tackle on him and he basically just got to pick what he could do in pass pro where it's not horrible. But that doesn't give any hope for me 
to play him. And we're usually positive people, or at least I'm usually a positive person. This is the most negative I'll be on a player profile and projection. Yeah, and largely I feel like our roles are now reversed today where largely I've been like, yeah, well, look at this little little number and this nitpicky stat where this person could be off or for this exact reason. And then Bobby's trying to be the one that's uh, bringing a little bit more optimism to the table. Um, however, I'm usually not negative, but I watched a 2018 pulley. And Bobby, I liked what I saw, or let me just at least say, I didn't dislike what I saw. And I think you've made you made that point where it's like you can watch 2018 Spencer Pulley and not dislike what you're watching. I thought he was smart. I thought, especially in the run game, and I watched I rewatched that San Francisco 49ers game and I rewatched that Tampa Bay Buccaneer game back to back both wins. I wanted to, I I was looking for something positive. I wasn't see, seeking something out negative because I know that we were I knew that we were gonna you were gonna have negative points based off of that Jets game. Uh, I thought in pass pro there was a few times where he was one on one with guys and he anchored down. He held his ground. Um, I think in the run game he did a good job moving up to the secondary level when he didn't have somebody directly on him when guys were lining up next you know to his left and it was you know the, the guard's main responsibility of getting him um he's not fast he's not a great athlete so I guess you know I guess now we can fully transition to talking about well who do we want breaking news who does uh the the president of the Nick Gates for center 2020 train uh who does he want to start at center Spencer Poli or Nick Gates um <laughs> so we can have this conversation I feel much better about Nick Gates as an athlete number one as a smart football player, number two, which I guess maybe you can put a, you know, it's it's a draw. It's a draw in terms of uh, football IQ. Maybe. You may disagree with that. Um, but also just overall potential and ceiling to be great at what they do. You still have to give that to Nick Gates because I really, Spencer Pulley did look slow. Like just very slow and very like not non, like very just non-methodical about where he would go and his movements as, a, as an offensive lineman. He's a backup center, and I'm fine with him being the backup center. This is even guard being mad at him. Yeah, but he's not the backup guard on the team. I'd say Shalane, Shane Lemieux has probably if, surpassed if him. If we in need that. it, if we need it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm so he's a backup, and like I said, I'm fine with that. His contract is a good backup contract. It's nice to have someone who knows how to play the center position and not throwing someone, you know, not throwing Will Hernandez at center or Shane Lemieux, you know, on a whim, uh, if if we need to. So, um. If Jalapio was on this team, that's where I would want to see the competition. Would be Jalapio versus Pulley again for the backup center. Uh, but that'd be you know rough. What? And as much as you know, it might be oh, Bobby's being negative. The coaching staff agrees. They threw in someone who has never taken a center snap in an NFL game, and after day one, Nick Gates moved into the starting role. They did the day one thing. We talked about it. The day one semantics that Spencer Pulley, the veteran, he knows a position. Day one. After that, Nick Gates has been in the center spot ever since you know they've done some they have shared some reps but it's every time we're seeing it it's we're seeing nick gates with the ones yeah and you know kind of talking from i think a football player's mindset where obviously injuries are going to happen and that sucks for that individual player but in a way those injuries and the fact that he's been sitting out a few different practices uh spencer pulley that is this summer that hurts him tremendously hurts him very bad yeah, and he fumbled a snap before uh, Nick Gates. Take a lap. Nick Gates finally did one. And he did have to take a lap because he fumbled a snap. Um, I mean, anything else? Like, I don't want to harp on how much I don't like. I I don't dislike him. I dislike him as a starter. He's the backup. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Um, But, you know, after a long off season of doing this Nick Gates stuff, it's, you know, I have fun with it. I'm positive about it. It's more fun. But when it is time to have, like I said, this is the time to have the real conversation on Spencer Pulley, and that's who he is. He was, I get you can go, like I said, you can go look at 2018 where they're putting two defensive tackles outside the guards, and he kind of just has his way. And he'll have occasional one-on-one with some crappy defensive tackle like, and, and, and do a decent job. But, I mean, in that Jets game, which also it's like this is your time to shine, Pulley. This is your time to win the job. This is your time to go in there and play well. And if he plays well, he probably starts there the rest of the season. And he was horrible. And it led to Saquon's worst rushing game. And it just, it was, it led to a sack. Like I said, the tackles for a loss. It led to a, a false start penalty on the last drive of the game. So, um, I mean, that shows to me that the guy's just really not a gamer when all that stuff comes together. So, all right, Spencer Pulley, um, whoa, whoa, I hope whoa, whoa, your family's whoa, whoa. not listening. 
Whoa, I, I have a, I have a final question for John you. John Halapio's agent listened to his PPP last year. I hope Spencer Bully's agent doesn't listen to this one. But I have I have a question for you because I think I have questions that are going to wind up pro- ho- hopefully positive. It may continue to get negative depending on how you feel. Um, Spencer Pulley does have both college experience and pro experience at playing at both guard positions. So if a guard were to go down, either Will Hernandez or Kevin Zeitler, are you putting Shane Lemieux in there or are you yes. putting the veteran presence of Spencer Pulley in there? Shane Lemieux. Wow, so we're not even ending on a positive note. I think it's positive on Shane Lemieux's part. The backup oh, guard. Like I said. Good spin. The Giants have two guards that I like and Will Hernandez and Kevin Zeitler. But if they didn't, Shane Lemieux has his issues, but he was someone I would be excited about starting week one. I think he's someone you could throw out there. He, there would be issues, but he's someone you could put out there. I would definitely put Shane Lemieux out there. All Good right. spin for positive Shane Lemieux. All right, let's take a break and move on to Leonard Williams.